Welcome, and you are now watching The Fuller Fanatic. And on today's segment, I want to ask you, the public, what does drop shut really mean? And what is your most drop shutty knife in your collection? So please comment down below to get this discussion going. Being this is my channel, I will be voicing my opinion, and I don't mean to offend anyone in doing so. First, I believe the term means just what the two words say, drop shut. And by this, I believe any knife that has a detent that once the lock is disengaged, the detent ball comes in contact with this detent track and does not release from until it falls into place in the detent hole. Meaning, to me, any and all button locks, access locks, and compression locks are disqualified. My push button, well, I desprung it, but my button locking boker, while smooth on one bronze washer, doesn't have a true detent, so it's disqualified. My para 3, while completely tuned to be dropped shut on bronze washers, and it does have a real detent ball, is disqualified because of the fact when I push the compression lock, the detent is completely released from all contact, so that's a no-go. And a disclaimer, I've opened up, cleaned, and lubed all these knives, with the exception to the Riots. And all these knives compared are running on some type of cage bearings. So, I will start with my favorite budget knife, the Kershaw Mini Natrix. For me, this is a fidgeter's dream. Smooth action, functional fuller, and light as all hell. But still at best in my opinion, it's what I classify as sling shutty. Yes, the knife will swing close, but you must swing it, so it's not automatic. Next, we have the awesome Farron Forge Mini Archbishop. Smooth, sleek, and again, fidget factor through the roof but sling shutty at best. I believe the blade's weight plays a huge role in being air quotes drop shutty. And I show these two to demonstrate light and thin blade retraction. Moving on to something with quite a bigger blade stock, we have the large pilar. Snappy action, smooth flicking, and this is where you start to see a difference in retraction action. Instead of having to sling the knife with its blade weight, it becomes more of a bouncing motion, which gets the blade falling and the weight and bearings handles the rest. This again is not the right action that explains the term drop shut. While it is better than slingshot and nice, it's worlds away from drop shut. Some of my other knives that do this are my Civivi Duris. Man, I love that damn thing. The Elementum and surprisingly on the thin bladed Kaifin by Wee Knives. Then next level up for me is the blade that needs just that little initial nudge or change of pivot and handle direction. And then it's gone. And for me, this is a level directly below drop shut with a very, very nice feeling and visual trick. Most of my favorites do this from my iron knife. That build is super sweet. To my Nightmare Grind Lambert. And my beloved Leong Ma Design Lanny. And I'm sure, well no, I'm quite positive. Many reviewers and knife people would say, those are all drop shut, what are you talking about? But to me, if I drop something, it falls, period, the end. It doesn't require additional aid. So take a good look at the Leong Ma Warrior 2v3. I mean, a good look. If you don't hurry up and move those digits, they just might get turned into decimals. Like, get your butts out of the way, sir. Hold on to your butts. And on a drop shut knife with good action, you can complete the fall shut just by rotating the handle and the weight and counterbalancing of the blade will start the bearings rolling right on past the detent. And then there was the Todd Beg Bodega. And this is a steel craft series, not even a full bed custom. A bit pricey at 480 plus or so, but worth every damn red cent in my opinion. My fucking mouth has drop shut action when I see this work of art moving. Jaws will drop. Truly my favorite of the bunch. <laughs> my mouth just drops and my girl has to tell me to shut it when the bodega is present. And it's super funny to hear the bodega laugh at my once thought drop shuttiness of my mini natrix. <laughs> and this is all learned by buy and error. Yeah, I said it, not trial and error, buy and error. Until recently, I hadn't found a shop or a local retailer that has any array of models, let alone trying them out. So it was a process. And I'm sharing this to try and inform others seeking certain aspects in knives and what it can take to get it. 
And by no means am I suggesting it costs upwards of 500 bucks to be drop shutty. But what I am saying is don't purchase a super light blade riding on nylon washers and think you will achieve the drop shut. Comment down below with all your thoughts on the discussion. Or do you believe people are beginning a trend of placing too much stock in non-functional aspects of their quote unquote knives that are tools first? And I'm talking about the knives, not the people. So please rate, share, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you can keep up with all the new content dropping. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.